Hello everyone and welcome back to part two in this video tutorial series on using Joomla 3. Um, so where we left off last time we had created categories, we created uh, some articles and then we had some menu items up here that were linked to the articles. Okay and then some of these menu items linked to single articles like our about page and then some linked to category blogs and the category blogs again show groups of categories. Okay. And let's go ahead and click on the British category blog. And as you can see, um, here's a collection of articles of British motorcycles. What I want to do though is I'd like to get rid of everything on here so it's just the title of the article and then a small little image that um, you know represents each motorcycle. And then maybe I'll have them in two or maybe even three columns on here. So it's almost like a gallery, but you click on each one and it's going to take you to an article. Okay, I think that's a nice way to set up a category blog. So that's what I'd like to do there. And um, last time, if you remember, we did upload this image right here. And we looked briefly at the media manager. So what I want to do now is actually go back to the media manager. So that's content, media manager. The link is also found right here. Okay, so um, what I have here is a whole bunch of folders that I have put lots of images in. Okay, for example, in my old bikes folder, I uploaded tons of pictures of motorcycles. Okay, and then you see this little folder here called teasers. Now, the teasers are smaller images that I want to use as the, um, let's go over here, the small images in my columns here, okay, for these motorcycles. And so I knew that I was going to need these, and so I just made these, and um, I cropped each one to be 200 pixels. Okay, 200 pixels wide. Um, their height is all different, but that's okay. But they're 200 pixels wide. Um, again, there's a video on the webdesignzoo.com site on free image editing tools that you can use if you don't use Photoshop. Okay, so go ahead and check that video out. I believe it's called Image Editing. Um, okay, or just do a Google search for you know online image cropping or free photo cropping or image editing. There are countless websites out there that will um, you can upload an image and resize it to whatever you want. So anyway, that's what I did to come up with all these images. Um, you know, you can also go to Google and search for images and in the search tools in the Google images specify that you want a certain sized image and you can get images that way too if you don't want to you know crop them on online or whatever. But again, check our video um, for image editing. Okay, so this is what I have here, and let's take a look at how I set this up. Okay. Again, I'm getting to my root folder here. Okay, now I have this folder called races right here, and I'm going to go inside that and create a new folder. And I'm going to call this hill underscore climbs, okay, and create this folder. Okay, and now I want to go inside my hill climbs folder and upload a bunch of images. So I just click the upload button right here, okay, and this pop down and I can choose files. Alright, so hill climbs. Upload those. Okay, and there we go, and I've got some hill climb posters. I'm not going to use them all, but I, I know I, I want to use this one here. I'm definitely going to use this one here, and maybe a couple more of these posters. So um, it's that easy, and I'm going to be uploading lots and lots of images to this site. And there's no reason repeating the same steps over and over. So you will see me go into folders, just like um, well, I'll backspace here for a minute, move up a folder, and I'll move up one more. Just like I added all the images to here, okay? Um, there's no reason to go through um, everything on here, every single image in a video. But you will see me adding more folders, more images as time goes on. So what I want to do now is let's add, well, let's add an image to an article real quick. Okay, so let's go to the article manager. All right, and I want to go into the about page. Okay, article, I should say. So the about article. Okay, now um, let's just well let's add an image. Okay, so I'm going to you know select right here because right here is where I want to put the image, and then go ahead and click image. Okay, and as you can see, it, I have access now to the images in the media manager. 
okay? Now, I can also upload more images, okay? And they will just get added to the Media Manager. So what I want to do is um, I'm going to go inside Riders here. And there's no images here. So even though we're not in the Media Manager, we're accessing it through this pop-up window here, I can still upload images to it, okay? And let's see, I've got a folder for old writers. And I found this image here that's, um, let's see, that's, that's it right there. That's pretty creepy, actually, but we're gonna use that. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that and then start the upload. And there's our image. So if I select that, okay, it puts the URL of the image right here. Now this images folder is where the main media uh, manager images are, okay? In the that's the main folder. And then within that, I created the writers folder, okay? And then within that, I just now uploaded this uh, antique Harley riders image, okay? So now what I want to go ahead and do is uh, give it a description, okay? So we'll just call it well, let's just call it antique Harley riders. Whoops. Okay, Antique Harley Riders, and we'll actually give that the title as well. Um, I don't want a caption on this, and let's just go ahead and insert it. Cool, there we go. And let's go ahead and save that right now. Close this. All right, and let's go ahead and view the site. Hit about. And here's our about article. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and look at some more things that we can do here. Okay. You can resize this image um, by selecting it and actually dragging these corners. Okay. Now, be careful doing this. Um, okay. You don't want to take an image, you know, a 5,000 pixel image out of your DSLR and upload it and then resize it to be a 100 pixel image, okay? It's better to uh, resize the image ahead of time, all right? Because um, it's gonna have to load and deal with this gigantic image when all you need is a really small one. But if you need to adjust an image slightly, you can do that here, no problem, okay? And it'll change the size. Um, let's look at the HTML code here. So if I toggle the editor, so you can see right here, here's our images, right? Uh, source images writer, antique Harley writers. The width is 704 and the height is 454. Okay, now what if I adjust this a little bit? Okay, let's go ahead and take a look. The width is 668 and the height is 431. So you see that it's actually uh, the tiny MC editor is rewriting the HTML code based on all the adjustments that we make, okay? Now, we have these options up here for some basic text formatting, okay? Um, for example, if I highlight this uh, word motorcycle right here and hit bold, it's gonna wrap it in a strong tag. And it even lets you know down here what tags you're wrapping your HTML in. In fact, let's find that word, uh, motorcycle right here. See that? It's being wrapped in a strong tag, okay? Um, yeah, and actually, the earlier video where we went over basic HTML, that little bit of HTML we went over will get you a long way in understanding what's going on with the uh, tiny MC editor here in Joomla. So let's go ahead and, well, I'm going to go ahead and just hit save. And come over here and refresh. Okay. And of course, this still doesn't look that great. Um, but um, anyway, I like this image. And you can see my bold showed up right there. And, um, you know, I don't like all the extra details here, and we will get rid of that. But what I want to do is get rid of that for all the articles at once, all right? And um, so we'll get there. No worries. Um, we'll get there in this video even, I promise. So let's go ahead and go to the British Motorcycle Category blog. Okay, so what we have here is three articles, okay? Actually, a lot more than that, but um, they just keep going. But we have the you only know, three that we can see right now and so we have some text okay and we have this link right here right the title and the title if we click on it will take us to that full article all right and there's the article right there the Excelsior article now what I want to do is add an image to my Excelsior article okay and then maybe do a little bit of formatting in here uh, we'll work with some headers and so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and whoop, close out of this. No need to save it, because I already saved it. 
Okay, and I'm going to go to my British motorcycle category. Um, go to the Excelsior. All right, and we have this basic text right here. And at first, I want to just add an image right here. So upload image. I have a image in the old bikes folder here of a British Excelsior. All right, and I have to grab the British one and make sure it's the British one because there is some American Excelsior motorcycles as well. Okay, and for image description, we'll go ahead and just put in the name of the motorcycle. And let's see, is there a date on this guy here? Yeah, 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 let's do that too. So 1935. And I'm going to grab that as well for the image title. Okay, and you can actually put captions as well, but I'm not going to do that for these. Um, not right now at least and insert there we go okay and now honestly this is kind of a large image here so maybe I will just adjust that a little bit you know just because I can all right and let's see what else can we do here I'm gonna go ahead and high or bold the that name out right there for just the name of the motorcycle company and let's see what else can we do to this well, looks like this paragraph right here is talking about the early history, and so we could, um, you know, oh, what can we type in here? Something like the beginning, right? Okay. Now, um, since this is kind of a um, header right here, we can go ahead and highlight that and make that a header too, okay? And that's all we had to do there. And if you see, if we highlight here, it's showing that it's an H2, right? And if we toggle the editor as well, okay see how that's wrapped that in the h2 tag okay no problem all right so what else should we do to that that's probably okay for now let's go ahead and save and close nope actually let's just save there's a couple more things i know i want to do come over here and well let's refresh this okay so there's our image and up oh, we can see how that's wrapped in that h2 heading right there um, I'd like a little bit more space right here for sure. And we can see that this Excelsior is wrapped in a strong tag. Okay, so um, remember this is the article view. If I go back to the British category blog, we can see that it's added the image and it's added the formatting, okay? And, um, but the problem is, is that my plan is to shrink these up, right? And it's just getting larger and larger and larger, okay? So what I wanna do now is cut this off right here so that you have to click on this to get to the title that is to get to the full article okay that way there's just not this run-on text that goes forever all right so how we do that is now I'm actually gonna put this in a couple different spots to demonstrate different ways to do this um, and I just made a little space right here so right between 1921 and the beginning I'm going to select what's called read more and it gave me that red dotted line right there okay now I'm gonna go ahead and hit save come over here and then uh, refresh this page okay now see how it uh, in between the uh, 1921 here and the beginning is where I put the read more and so as you can see after 1921 there's this little tab here that says read more okay and if we click on the read more here or if we click on the title it'll take us to the full um, Excelsior article all right and to be honest I don't actually want this here I'm gonna get rid of that as well and I also don't want this first image on here it's too big my plan is I like how these are in two columns okay my plan is to have the motorcycles just the title of the motorcycle and a little image okay and maybe I'll have two or three columns okay and then several rows so it's almost like a little gallery where you click on the title and it takes you to the full article now how you do that is instead of having the um, read more right here I'm actually gonna move it up to the very top up here okay um, let's see right there okay I'm going to add my read more right there just like that okay and then see how I have these different options right here this one here images and links I'm gonna click on that and I have this thing here that says intro image okay intro image now 
I already set up my teaser images, okay? And um, I, perhaps I should have named the folder intro images instead of teaser images. I think teaser is a Drupal views term, actually, but it's the same thing. So anyway, so inside my teasers folder here, I have a bunch of images that are only 200 pixels wide, okay? And I knew I was gonna do this, so I went ahead and took the time to get all these images and upload them in here. So what I need to do now is find the British Excelsior image, which is right here, and select that, okay? And insert. All right, and that's all I wanna do. And I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Okay, so now let's recap what I just did. Okay, so my content. I have my image here for my main article image. I put the read more above it. That's that red line. Okay, and then I did a little bit of formatting right here. And what I want is just the title to show up with this small intro image. Okay, and that's what we did. So let's go ahead and refresh the uh, category blog page. And there we go. Okay, now I don't like this read more here, and I don't want this here. Okay, but what I do want is a couple, you know, um, see, how, see how these are double columned like this? I like that. So I want to actually have um, two uh, columns with just the title and just the image. And I want to be able to do that to all of the British motorcycles. Okay, and we'll do the same thing for the American and the Japanese uh, bikes as well. All right, so let's go ahead and um, look at how to do that next.